What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uh, character showcase. So we're going to be taking a look at Loki here. So I've had Loki ranked up and I even put a CTP of Rage on him quite a while ago and I can't even really remember like playing him at all. I pretty much just ranked him up, put this Rage on him. I think I used him like once and I've never touched him again. So I want to revisit him see if his damage still holds up at all and i'm probably going to be taking this rage off because i kind of want to give it to a different character that i might use a little more often because yeah he's just sitting here collecting dust and i you know i put resources into him i have his uniform at mythic we have rage on him uh okay we don't have his artifact but we do just have a random artifact on here he's definitely not justice i highly doubt he is so i just have this artifact on here for no apparent reason i guess and um we have overdrive at stage six for his skills we have everything leveled up uh we do have a few urus on him if we take a look over here at his details we're maxed out on pretty much everything that we need crit damage is the only thing we're missing yes yeah, is instinct is destruction so yeah that's basically doing nothing here this artifact do we have a destruction to put on him just because uh here's destruction just go ahead and grab this all right a little bit better but anyway so that's what loki is looking like so let's go ahead and try him out just you know see where he's at nowadays see if he can do damage and uh probably take off this ctp of rage and give it to somebody else for me to just test out or try because loki uh you're not really doing much with it right now buddy so yeah let's see what you can do all right so here we are over at ultron we're going to go ahead and use this team here we got cyclops for lead and then we've got uh, valkyrie there for support uh, we are going to be doing stage nine because loki of course is not a superhero and he is not a uh, human so we cannot use him from uh, up to 20 and I haven't really unlocked into the 30s, and I highly doubt he can do any damage into the 30s. So let's just see what he can do at stage 9 here. So we would want to see the health bars moving pretty quickly. So what was Loki's rotation? It was Oops, I did the rota rotation wrong. Okay, that was a bit of damage. Um, Alright, so we want to do 3... We do five and then four, I think was his rotation. Okay, Ultra moved out of the way of all that damage. Let's pop this, pop that. Oh no, wait. Did not realize that Ultron was doing one of his purple attacks. So let's let's try that again. Alright. Now that hopefully I remember what his rotation is, we can try this and get a little bit more damage going. Okay, he's definitely ooh, moving the health bar. Oh, oh, let's not do that. Did he have a heal on any of his skills? Great, you're doing this, eh? Alright, relax, dude. Alright. Pop our tier three. There we go. Get that one started. Let's hop into our rotation here. Moved out of the way of all of the damage of our tier three. Fantastic. Ultron, can you like sit still for one minute here so I can actually hit you? Because that would be fantastic. Ultron just likes to just move around all over the place. Oh, fantastic. We cannot get out of that. Uh, we couldn't cancel our stupid animation because of Ultron. Yeah, Ultron can be kind of frustrating the fight sometimes because he's just hopping all over the place. Uh, uh, I mean, we're doing okay damage. Maybe I'm playing Loki wrong because I haven't played him in such a long time. Ultron, can you sit in my tier 3 for once, please? I want to see what the tier 3 damage is, dude. Holy cow. You're being very, very annoying. And then he optimizes. And I wasted my tier 3. Cool. Um, I mean, we definitely should be able to clear this. Because we're just a minute and a half in. And he's at 17 bars out. That clipped me. Um, yeah, so we definitely have enough damage to clear this stage. So that's good. Wanna do this. Wanna do this. Alright, let's just pop the tier 3. I wanna see... You a jackass. Why are you doing this, Ultron? I have not landed a single tier 3 on Ultron. 
This guy is being the most annoying today. Ultron, sit still for me, please. Oh, fantastic. Um, are you in range of the... Can you relax, dude? High frame, jump halfway across the freaking world. You know, he, he's just doing it all today. Seriously, you optimized. I thought I was hitting you all that time. Let's whack him here. All right, Ultron. I need you to cooperate with me here. Oh, he's still doing that attack. All right, hit him. And get Blade Twister. Fantastic. Stop. Give me the tier three. There we are. All right, tier three. Do your job. All right, so tier three was without the rage being active. So it was still not bad, actually. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Hop back into the tier three for me. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt. Okay, yeah, so he can definitely clear. Um, stage 9 at least. I mean, that's not bad. That's better than some of the other characters that I've tested lately. <laughs> some of them couldn't even clear stage 9. Um, alright, so he, he's still got some damage. Let's go ahead and hop over to Dark Phoenix here and see what he can do on this stage. Alright, we've assembled the team. We've got our dodging North Strikers. We're ready to go. Um... I think he has some pretty short animation, so he should do fine here against Dark Phoenix. Okay. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yep. Oh, you're already doing this. All right, fantastic. All right, let's get back in there. Okay, so the third skill has the healing. Oh, I forget. Is this... Uh oh, we're dead. We need to switch. What? I thought I switched. Um, his damage was definitely good. Looking good. Was this third skill one of those, though, where if you let this skill animation play out longer, you get more healing? I can't remember, because I know there's a few characters like that with their healing skill. If you sit in it or let the healing skill actually do the full animation, you get more healing. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, yep, that hurt a little bit. I should not have done the second skill there. I should have realized that I needed to uh, have my wits about me. And move around a bit more. Alright, you're going to do your purple attack, right? Uh, Alright, he's, he's a little bit slow. <laughs> I thought I started running away from her as soon as she landed, and his movement speed was that slow that I couldn't get out of there, eh? Interesting. Not feeling the greatest so far against Dark Phoenix. All right, come on, Loki. Still a little bit better this time. This will be my last run here with him. What is the? This, I don't know. First skill was yeah, pretty short animation. Dash. Did we not dash? We didn't dash. I thought the first skill did like a little dash, charge dash thing, but uh, maybe it didn't. Yeah, he is, he is a bit slow, though. His movement speed is uh, leaving something to be desired. Okay, I don't think sitting in the third skill is actually healing anymore. Whoops, dang it, I did the second skill. We're probably dead. I keep wanting to hit that second skill, <laughs> but it's getting me killed. And this is also getting me killed. Um, all right, yeah, I mean, his damage looked good, but... I don't know, his skill rotation just was not cooperating with me to actually be able to avoid her attacks. So he did not feel the greatest against Dark Phoenix just because of the skill rotation. <laughs> um, but, I mean, his damage is actually, it's actually pretty decent. It's better than I thought it was going to be because I don't think he has accumulation on any of his skills. I might be wrong on that, but I feel like he didn't have... Um, Accumulation that any of his skills. Where is he anyway? There he is. Because you didn't have any, right? There was no. Oh, yeah, the fifth skill has that increase. Okay. But. Uh, no, where is it? Tier three. 
No, yeah, he didn't have any accumulation, so his damage is actually really good considering that he doesn't have accumulation. So if he gets another uniform with accumulation on it, uh, yeah, he's probably going to be a force to be reckoned with. It's just I don't play him enough that I really think I want to keep this rage on him, but he definitely still seems good. He still hits really hard. Um, he just has a few downsides, as you saw with Ultron, just always like piecing out and just getting out of the way of his attacks. That's really annoying. So his attacks are very limited on their capability to target moving uh, enemies. And then for Dark Phoenix, uh, it seems like the rotation was just, I don't know, just a little wonky to time with her skills to be getting out of the way. But we have one more test to do. We're going to go ahead and take him in against Dormammu and see what he can do over there. All right, so we assembled the same team here. Let's go ahead and hop in and see what he can do against Dormammu. All right, Loki, are you going to impress me here or not? Okay. Yeah, it's a very short animation. That's why I'm kind of surprised that he was doing as poorly as he did against Dark Phoenix. I thought that short animation would really be to his benefit. Or is it because I kept wanting to hit the second skill so much? That might be what was screwing me over. <laughs> okay, I mean, so far so good. I'm liking the damage. Not liking the cooldown though on that fifth skill. Why did I notice that it was on a nine second cooldown when I was doing War Boss Legend? It's a lot more noticeable here against Stormammu. That we have to wait nine seconds for that fifth skill. And the fourth skill. Interesting. Yeah, he's got really long cooldowns. Okay, I mean, the damage is looking good, so we're definitely going to make it to the phase change, I think, in a decent, decent amount of time. I don't know, but we will be back. So let's skip ahead to the phase change here and then see where we're at. All right, so we made it to the phase change here. We did it within the three minutes, which I think is going to be the mark that I'm starting to look at now. So if a character can get Dormammu to the face change within three minutes, I think they qualify as being a like a good or at least a solid option as a DPS. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Okay, he's doing he's doing some damage against uh, Dormammu here. Now that Dormammu's had his phase change, what do we got without the tier three active? Is that half a bar maybe? Because half a bar is good. Yeah, there. So with the tier three active, that's close to a bar and a half worth of damage. And then this is getting us. Okay, they might actually be getting us more than half a bar. You're gonna do your, there it is. Um, yeah, so he's actually looking pretty good here. Yeah, so tier three, I like that damage for sure, but the regular skill rotation, how much do I like this damage? Let's see. Oh, it looks like, yeah, just barely below half a bar or that might be exactly at the half bar mark Ooh, is this gonna kill us almost um okay yeah so this damage is good then because i th i think i've come to accept that with the regular rotation without like your tier three or your awakening skill if you do half a bar's worth of damage to dormammu once he's had his face change i'm gonna say that that's good so Loki is there, so I, I like Loki's damage. I do. The only thing is maybe it won't be as impressive overall once the fight's over because of the 9 second cooldown. So where a normal character can just always be doing the rotation every 7 seconds to kind of line up with the damage proc, whether you're using a damage proc or not is irrelevant, but they can do the rotation every 7 seconds. Loki is waiting for 9 seconds here. And 
two seconds may not sound like a lot, but that adds up over the course of for Dormammu here, a 10 minute battle. You know, that will average out to an extra like two or three skill rotations that the other character is getting just because of the cooldown times. So that's definitely something to keep in mind here. But overall, I still think Loki is a solid choice. If you want to rank him up and give him a rage, I still think he is a solid option for that. He definitely has fallen off a little bit, but his damage still seems to be competing quite well at the kind of high end or as a main DPS option. But I don't know. I just don't use him enough that I don't know if I really want to keep this on him. I am happy with his damage, so maybe I should just because he has kind of proved himself that he's worthy of uh, worthy of being a DPS character. But yeah, that's going to be Loki here. Let me know in the comments below if you still use Loki, what kind of build you have on I'm kind of curious to know. But that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and of course I will catch you in the next one.